again and welcome back to Storm Talk. Today we're going to be looking at Arthur the Lightbringer. We're going to take a moment to read his backstory. Take a moment to get his character model. His trait is eternal devotion. When killed, Luther's spirit remains temporarily on the battlefield. Um, if you play League of Legends, this is a lot like. The Lich Death Singer, whatever they changed him to. Um, his basic abilities are Holy Light, you can kill an ally. Holy Radiant, kills allies and damages enemies and allies. Hammer of Justice, stun and damages an enemy. The Paladins are the backbone of the Alliance. Surely you require my expertise. Divine Shield. Target becomes invulnerable and moves faster for a short duration. And Divine Storm deals an area damage that stuns enemies. His skins are standard Lightbringer and variations, Master Skin and variations, Lumberjack and variations, and Medic. I'm going to go for Master Skin Black, because I like the color scheme. Now, to demonstrate here, since it's going to be a lot harder to demonstrate this later on in the game, let's walk into a tower. So, Holy Radiant deals out all allies in a line and deals damage to all enemies. Right. Come on, let's go to demonstrate this. So, play it simple. You kill the allies and by my honor, kill your allies. Light, you kill allies, and you have hammer. Why not? Artist to smack period one. Honor guides me. So, to show off the trait. All of your abilities still pass by damage. Alright, let's try that again. Yeah. All of your abilities and base connect still half as much damage when you're dead. Agreed. Sorry, three seconds. What is it? It was like ten seconds whenever those news are punching you in the butt. Take a look at his stats. He starts with 89 HP, with, or 890 HP, with 1.86 regeneration, standard mana 503. He has one attack range and one attack speed with a damage of 38. As we level Choose up. A talent. Choose a talent. At level 30, we have 6,400 HP with a 13.3 regeneration, 790 with a 5.83 regeneration, and 241 damage per hit. All in all, At level, at level 30, his Holy Light is 1,470 healing, 
Holy Radiance is 680 healing or 500 damage. And Hammer of Justice is 280 damage with a 1 damage. So, for his talent. At level 1, you get Conjurer's Pursuit and Reach. Conjurer's Pursuit, Mana Regeneration. I take this every time. Reach, uh, Holy Light Range, or Holy Light Range is increased by 2. Which is a little weird because they, like, they don't use that. Uh, I'm trying to think how to say it. They have a standard system of this is a one range spell, like, similar to its damage. Because damage is a like, one range attack. Well, Holy Light is like a five range, I think. Looking at it offhand, I'm going to say five. And they're incre wanting to increase it by two. Which is. Pretty good, but it's weird because they don't use that increment, range increment, or any other spell, basically. Or any other character. Uh, Dense Weight Stone, Hammer of Justice, uh, increased by 40%. Or Bless Champion, basic attacks will heal nearby allies for 25% of the damage dealt. This is a variation of the um, level 4 Vampire one, except you're healing. And I believe it heals you as well. So, not bad if you're going for an assault. Basically, it turns out, are you going healing? You take Conjurer's Pursuit, because as good as it is to be able to reach out and touch someone, having the mana to do it is better. And, or Blessed Champion, if you're taking an, like, a damage build or tank build, because healing is good. We're going to go Conjurer's Pursuit. Choose a talent. At level 4, you have Hammer of the Lightbringer. Uh, basic attacks also restore 5 mana. Which, if you notice, could allow you to take one of these other ones without taking Ponderous Pursuit. However, let's be honest, 5 mana per second is what you're already getting, and increasing that a little bit better, and a little more reliable. Um, I like it. Hammer of the Lightbringer requires you to hit something constantly in order to get that mana burst. Uh, return, whereas passive mana regeneration happens every time. Fist of Justice. Uh, basic attacks reduce cooldown of Hammer of Justice by one second. It's an eight second spell. So you attack once per second, so after four seconds, it basically passes uh, cooldown if you're in combat. Protect the weak. Using Holy Light on minions or mercenaries refunds 75% of its mana cost and cooldown. So, 90 mana cost, 12 second cooldown, 75% of that being refunded, not bad. Um, you're not really wanting to ever do that. It's nice sometimes if you have some mercenaries, but better to heal allies than mercenaries. And Protective Shield, the general talent. We're going to take Fist of Justice. Mostly, if you take Conjurer's Pursuit, you take Fist of Justice. Sometimes protect the weak, depending on your map. If you take anything else, you take Hammer of the Light. Um, you could sometimes, if you take Dense Whetstone, you'll take Fist of Justice, just so you can get that big Hammer of Justice drop, but... That's, ver that, that's a very rare time, something like, oh, you have Malfurion, to innervate you. Or something. Anyway, let's go ahead and take our fist. Choose a talent. At level 7, Wave of uh, Life. Each unit healed by Holy Radiance returns 10 mana and reduces the cooldown by uh, 1 second up to 50 mana and 5 seconds. It is a 65 mana, 12 seconds. Spell. Rebuke. Hammer of Justice knocks the target back. Holy Devotion, Trait, Damage and Healing are at 100% effectiveness while in spirit form, and Declare Voyance, Cleanse, General Talent. Holy Devotion is an almost always take. Um, Wave of Light, Kills Allies, and Sound Decision. Let's pick this up. 
like, yeah. Wave of Light's great, but if I get killed, minion, but I go by so fast. It does return mana and allows you to use the spell multiple times. So, this allows you to use Wave of Light a lot. The problem with that is, is, oh, there's no problem with using Wave of Light. That's the problem with it. Um, you're going to just be cast constantly casting Holy Radiance, which isn't a bad thing. However, Holy Devotion, when you die, makes you a better person. It's kind of one of those... I'm trying to think of how to say it without sounding like, no, this is what you should take and make it time to do. If the enemy has a lot of assassins, you take Holy Devotion because you are going to die a lot because you're a healer. If the enemy, however, has a bunch of people who aren't that strong, you take Rebuke because it knocks them back and just keeps your team a little safer. Wave of Light is useful, but it kind of gets outshined by the other we're going to take Rebuke. Choose a talent. And Divine Shield. Make an allied hero invulnerable and increases their movement speed by 20%. Faith is its own reward. At level 13, all you have are general talents. Burning Rage, Spell Shield, Sprint, and Shrinking Rage. Burning Rage is a pretty good one because it's constant damage around you. Shrink Ray is okay because it uh, reduces the amount of damage that an enemy can do. Sprint, oh, it's a little bit of speed. But that's not all that much. Or Spell Shield, Spell Shield kind of okay because it allows you to dodge a bunch of attacks. If you can get really lucky and somebody casts like five ults on you, Spell Shield can really save your life. But we're going to take Burning Rage. Also, it looks really good, cool, this armor set. At level 16, you have hard and focus. While above 80% life, your basic abilities cooldowns regenerate 50% faster. Gathering Radiance increases the damage and healing by 10% for each target hit, up to 50%. Holy Shock. Holy Light can be used on enemies to do 50% of the healing as damage. That's 1,470 healing or 700 damage. And Imposing Presence is a general talent. We're going to take Heart and Focus Choose a talent. and Bulwark of Light. By my honor. We are above 80%, so our cooldowns will all regenerate faster. We took a couple of Hammer of Justice today, so we have to back to the cooldown, and it knocks the target back, and we come up behind the rock net. As you can see, we were able to walk through it. Even trying. A sound decision. Now, again, the power. Your ability to heal. It's pretty much your breath. And you can have hard and focus. You can have to heal. Honor of God. Holy Radiance, whenever you cast it, standing next to them with your fire aura. Right. Okay. Now, as you saw, Uther is extremely strong, doesn't do a lot of damage real fast, but stays in fights for a while. Our target is a shield, makes them increasing their movement speed for four seconds. It lasts one second longer and also grants 
Gonna build hammer. Let's see here. Take wave of light. Divine storm deals 575 damage and stuns nearby enemies for 1.5 seconds. Choose a talent. Up to level 30. Choose a talent. Level 30 does 825 damage and stuns for 1.5 seconds. Very wise. Rather small, but it's an area of effect itself. We're going to take Burning Rage again. Hmm. This time we're going to take Gathering Radiance and Divine Hurricane. It increases the radius by 100% and the cooldown is reduced by 20 seconds. Is its own reward. By my honor. As you can see, we have the Blessing Champion and Hammer of Light combo to give us more mana. Devastate group. while, but he wouldn't actually be able to hurt us anyway. Why not? Now, ways I could have done this a little bit better is instead of taking Gathering Radiance, I still would have taken a Hardened Focus. Just keeping myself healed. Like, for example...
Cool down to generate 50% faster. I think that means like every second counts as time and a half. Or every two seconds is three seconds. Which basically is the same thing. Again, the big base tower. Minions, I would have been able to do damage to them and gotten the health regeneration orb. And if I would have taken, say, Conjurer's Pursuit instead of his Waitstone, um, I would have just been Honor rebuilding. Guides me. Or I would have been rebuilding mana much faster. So. Anyway, this was my storm talk on Uther. I hope that was informative and enjoyable to watch, and have a nice day.